Tammy Smith, Sea Turtle Coordinator for Tybee Island Sea Turtle Project. Um, we're here tonight on the beach at 11th Street to excavate or do the nest inventory for nest number three. This nest was laid on May 30th and it started hatching on July 23rd, so we're digging it up tonight. T tell us what exactly the excavation means and why you're doing this. Um, basically, this is how we find out exactly how many eggs hatched. Um, this, e this nest was relocated, so I know how many eggs were in the nest. How um, many? I have to look at my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it memorized. Okay. Um, and we will count the hatched and unhatched eggs and determine how many babies made it out. Um, hopefully, we'll have some live hatchlings in there so people can see a live hatchling. Um, in the event we do, we are going to take one of those stragglers and place them at the tank at the Tybee 4 H Center so they can have one for educational purposes. Fantastic. Um, ha ha can I ask you, it's sort of uh, as far as statistically, how often do you find live babies? How often is it not so pleasant? Uh, you know what? It's about half and half. We've had two nests already that we've inventoried. One had no live hatchlings and the other nest had a few. Um, so it's about half and half. Now, unfortunately, there could be some dead babies in here and that's just part of it. We do have a dead one as part of the process. Um, we can just walk around and show them that one. He is dead. Again, you can take pictures. I'm just asking no flash right now. Um, in the event we have some lines. Again, you can't touch them. a nest we missed on our patrols um, for one reason or another um, and it began hatching today you didn't this expect you didn't know it was here this one was here didn't expect it this makes number 21 for us um, so we'll be nest sitting with this one so you're gonna you're gonna release those guys yeah, I'm going right now to release them. Well, let's do that yeah, just know if you'll turn your light off because it's going to distract our heads if you'll turn that off it's going to distract them okay thanks yeah all cell phone lights need to be off because it will distract the baby What I'm going to do is we're going to get the babies on the ground. They need to crawl to do what they naturally yes. do to imprint where they know to come back in the event they are female. They need to come back to Tybee to nest. Um, they do return to about a five mile radius from where they were born to come back and nest. Uh, once we get them on the ground and they get close to the water, then I'll let you move a few steps forward. As soon as they hit the water, you just got to stand still. The water's going to wash them back and again, I don't want any of the babies stepped on. My volunteers, you can raise your hand so people know that we're the permitted people that can do what we're doing. Um, so just make sure that you watch from a distance. Again, you can take pictures, just absolutely no flash, and a cell phone light will distract, so make sure that's all. Does anyone need a, I have a couple red lights. Does any um, volunteers need them? We should be okay right now. We shouldn't need them because it's, um, we don't want that on right now. Um, do they follow the red light? They can, yes.
Sargassum Sea? Yeah, we kind of go one here. The Sargassum Sea, which is in the middle of the Gulf Stream. That's where they're going to hang out for the next few years. You can take a few steps forward. So just kind of, that's good right there.